G'day, welcome back. So today in the video, I'm gonna show you how to get free Film Grain in DaVinci Resolve. It's actually a website, but that Film Grain is free, which is fantastic. I'm gonna show you how to do it in the color page, which is a far superior way, because we can actually get an endless loop when it comes to that grain, which is something people have really been asking for. So here we are in Resolve, and this is where we're gonna do our Film Grain magic. So what I have here is I have three different types of Film Grain. So if I were to add this one in as a mat, so highlight it, right click, add to media pool as a mat. Now, when it comes to these film grains, they are all completely free and I'll go through at the end and I'll talk about how you can download this one, which I think is the best one. And I'll also leave links below where you can download them. So now we're in the color page here and I've just turned off the film grain. So if we play this clip, we're not getting that film grain on our image. So everything is great. And we just have a couple of other clips here. Nothing too exciting, just the usual type of stuff. But this is to show how we can put the film grain on our entire timeline without having to go and do every single one, which is gonna be a massive, massive help. So we're gonna do all our film grain in the timeline section because this will put the film grain on our entire timeline and we won't have to worry about adding it to every single clip. In our timeline here, in our timeline space here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say add node and I'm gonna add a layer node. Then going across to our media pool, we can choose our 35 millimeter mat and just bring it across here. Then we want to join up this one into here and then we'll just deselect this, put this into here and then add this one into here. Now again, we have that same problem where we have our film on top of our tie image. All we have to do is come across to our layer node here, right click, composite mode and then go down to soft light. Okay, so we have our film grain on top of our image. We have a sizing issue. What we need to do, we need to make this bigger. So to do this, really simple. You wanna to go to your mat here, which is our 35 millimeter film. You wanna come across to lock mat and just take that tick off. Now you can change all your sizing. So we just bring that zoom up and this will also affect how big your film grain is. If you want some really prominent film grain, you just push that zoom all the way up. Actually, I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit because YouTube will probably compress that footage. As you can see, we have some film grain, or we have a lot of film grain on our image here. And the best thing is, bring these clips back up. If we go across, we have that film grain on our entire timeline. That is extremely, extremely handy. So when it comes to this method, we have a loop here. So we don't actually have to worry about that film running out. It just keeps looping and looping and looping. So now we have an endless loop of our film grain. So you can just chuck this on, on your footage, and then just leave it. And it's just gonna keep going forever and ever. Now, another important thing to remember is that you need your film grain to be on the bottom of these arrows here, not on the top because otherwise your image is going to look like this and it's going to look, well, it's a look, but it's a really overpowering look. Now, if you didn't want this film grain, so we'll just chuck it back, make it a little bit easier. All you have to do is come down to your mat here, right click this bad boy, come down to select mat, timeline mat, and then because we've made those other mats, we can just choose a different one. So we can choose dirty, which image is a little bit dirtier. So I'll get a better looking one, we can actually tell. And our film grain is, oh, well, I guess dirtier when it comes to it. So that is, you know, a nice little handy tip. So you can have lots of different film grains and you can add them in. So search the web, maybe you'll find some better ones. If you have, leave a comment below, tell me where to find them, I would love to know. Now, the one big problem with this method and it's the same problem as before, you can't actually qualify your film grain to only hit in the uh, highlights or the midtones. So the way film works, it actually affects your midtones and your highlights, not so much your shadows. So unfortunately you can't do it. I've tried to do it many, many times to try and qualify it that way, but I just can't figure it out. Okay, so now we have that film grain on. Everything's fantastic, right? So let's go and I'll show you where you can get that film grain. So this is probably my go-to one when it comes to that free film grain. Now I have the studio version, so I don't actually use this one. If you don't have the studio version, I think this is really fantastic and it's free. And then all you have to do is type in free film grain and this will come up first, or there's a link below in the video. Now to get the grain, just come up to downloads here and then that'll give you your, your name and your email. Just type that in. You're gonna come up with two. So there's gonna be one that's 35 millimeter, but that's gonna have a watermark and the other one is 16 millimeter. And that's the one we used today, I'm pretty sure. And that's free. 
They're both great, but obviously you'd have to pay for one. But the free one is fantastic, so highly recommend. If you don't have the studio version, download this bad boy and your image is going to look very interesting. And I'll leave some links below for the other ones and you can follow them. And let me know how your color grading is going and let me know what project you're working on. I've been Drew and have a fantastic day.